Good morning, everyone. I'd like to share my age first. I'm 24. Now, some of you might say that that's a bit young and naive. I may not have the full understanding of how the world works just yet, but quite frankly, when do all of us have a full understanding of the world? I believe that all the problems the world faces can actually be solved. Now, this may not be the most positive outlook. However, I believe that every day we are trapped in items called narratives, which for whatever reason, maybe it's confirmation bias, maybe it's laziness, for whatever reason, narratives get pushed constantly left and right that don't really help us solve the issues. There's a copious amount of narratives that really just get in the way of the issues. Now, the other day, I wrapped up my coursework from a master's program, which I'm very happy about. And in my last class, I received the opportunity to take an elective. Now, for the past year, something has been well on my mind, and I saw this as an opportunity to pick a topic that I very much enjoyed. That topic, which is also a major problem in the United States of America, has been the healthcare cost crisis that we're seeing currently. I think that this problem can be solved. But to demonstrate how much of a problem it is, before the COVID, it was actually the third most important issue in this upcoming election, with 80% of Americans rating it as highly important to them. One can go to the free marketplace exchange of healthcare plans and see that the average healthcare plan runs at a roughly a $600 monthly premium, as well as an $8,000 yearly deductible. It's quite expensive. That's maybe $15,000 of expenses a year if you expect to hit your deductible before any benefits really kick in. With the average family income of $50,000, the healthcare cost crisis is a problem in the United States of America. However, I don't really believe that no one has posed any good solutions to this because of the two prevailing narratives that exist in the United States of America that don't really solve the problem. And I'd like to share what those two, narrative are, two narratives are, then I'd also like to share what I believe are the actual reasons why we have healthcare cost crisis in the US and explain how the narratives get in the way of actually solving that problem. So the two narratives we see currently, and it's maybe some from some sort of political reason, but I don't like to get too political here, but the main narratives we see are everything will be fine if we appeal the Affordable Care Act, or everything will be fine if we do a universal expansion of Medicare and Medicaid. Now, I believe both of these are fallacious arguments because one, the, Affor the Affordable Care Act actually has some good in it, believe it or not. It also has some bad in it. However, there was a healthcare cost crisis happening before the Affordable Care Act. So just to sit there and assume that the Affordable Care, Appealing Affordable Care Act would solve everything that is wrong in the world is a fallacious line of thinking. Also, one of the reasons why we also have a healthcare cost crisis is because of Medicare and Medicaid. So to sit there and assume that if we just expanded everything, everything would be fine and dandy and everything works great would also be the false line of thinking. However, it's just frustrating that these are the two narratives constantly, constantly, constantly pushed every day. And really, there's a lot of evidence to support that none of this is going to solve the problem, doing either of those. And therefore, we're wasting our time. 80% of the people who rate this as a very important issue and see those massive premiums and high deductibles don't really see much relief from this. And we're not really being led here. Now, I do want to go over the reasons why there is a healthcare cost crisis in the United States of America. This is, of course, based on about a whole summer semester's worth of research that I've been doing and what I've been finding. Now, this doesn't stand in the way of, of certain solutions. I'm, I'm not really advocating for a specific solution right now. That would get too long. Maybe that's a topic for another speech. This is a very important issue for myself. However, in identifying the two reasons that it's actually, the healthcare cost crisis actually exists in the United States of America, that helps us understand what we can do to make this not an issue. So the two reasons, one is we just need to be healthy. The United States of America is not a very healthy place uh, to live. Maybe Colorado is. Colorado is very healthy. I love Colorado. The United States of America is not very healthy. If you're not healthy, especially if it becomes more of like an obesity and diabetes thing, later on in life, that becomes extraordinarily expensive. We seem to have this idea of the American way, you know, uh, land of the free, the free and home of the whopper. 
Whoppers are good, don't get me wrong. I love burgers. I love unhealthy things as much as everyone else. But we don't really have much of an incentive to be healthy, the way our health insurance and health programs work. It seems to be that no matter what, we're always going to pay high premiums and high deductibles. And once we reach that deductible, it doesn't really matter what happens to us. Everything's going to be paid on our behalf. So there's really no incentive to look healthily. Our premiums don't get adjusted based on how healthy we are. In addition to that, Medicare and Medicaid are a, a weird thing that exists as like a third party payer on behalf of private or, or two private companies, which doesn't really make so much sense of the dichotomy of things because the third party that's not receiving the treatment doesn't really have much of incentive to seek out the best quality, nor does it have an incentive to kind of look at that marginal level of treatment they might receive beyond uh, just the typical what, what's needed treatment. And that, that is a big reason why it's so, so expensive, because there's really no incentive to either side to reduce costs. Now, knowing these things, we can propose solutions, especially politically, to policies moving forward and make this country a better place, especially when it comes to healthcare. However, I want to point out the, the very important aspect of these narratives and that they, in fact, prevent us from doing that. So it's all a Toastmasters at the end of the day. I want to encourage all of you to challenge a narrative on whatever issue. I talked about one issue today, a very important issue, but there are many, many issues out there that don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to challenge others. Go out there, be diverse with your opinions and understand different cultures and different values on these issues. Thank you. Thank you, Tom, for that speech.